Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to be showing you a warm-up routine. Everybody should have one. You know, whether you play an instrument like I do, I play guitar, you don't just pick up a guitar and start playing. You run a few scales, you get the fingers warmed up. Well, it's the same thing with an airbrush. Before you start painting, you're going to want a warm-up routine to get that trigger finger going, you know, making sure everything is working properly before you go and hit the canvas. So with that, if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell to get future notifications. Give me a couple comments, good or bad. It really helps out with the channel. Don't forget to check out all my Amazon affiliate links for the products I use in these videos. And with that, let's get started. Well, all right, I got my Awada Eclipse uh, loaded up with some red here. So you're going to be able to see the color nice and vibrant. But so this is a great opportunity to, when you mix your color, um, you know, with your reducer, in my case, I'm going to be reducing because I'm using Createx paint with uh, 4011. It's a good opportunity to see how your paint spraying, you know, is it too thick? Is it too thin? You can make your adjustments before you go hitting your canvas. Um, in addition to getting your finger nice and warmed up, you want to make sure everything's working properly with your gun. You know, just because it was working properly the day before doesn't mean it was going to be working properly today. Something could have happened in the cleaning process or you just got a little bit of paint dried in there. It just all depends. Just because it was spraying the day before correctly doesn't mean it's going to be spraying that way today. So, first thing I always do is I just have a habit and I can almost feel it. I spray into my hand, make sure my air pressure is feeling right, even though I really don't change it. But if this gun happened to be clogged or anything like that in any kind of way, I would feel the difference right there. So anyways, my routine is a couple shots into the hand and then you just want to get the finger warmed up, okay? You want to get that trigger finger warmed up. Just start by seeing how your paint's spraying. Okay. Now, again, if you needed to make an adjustment with your reducer, this is where you're going to notice it. All right, and that seems to be spraying pretty good. I'm mixed about 20% right now with my uh, 4011 to my paint. So after you spray a couple gradients and stuff like that, you know, start with some lines. Um, again, you really get to see how your, your paint's coming out, you know. You know, depending on the viscosity of your paint, is going to mean, you know, how fast or close you can get with your paint depending on, you know, again, your trigger control. You know, I can get in tight. Now I got a little too much paint right there. So again, if I was warmed up, I probably wouldn't get that. It just kind of goes back to that practice routine about learning all of the dots and your lines and strokes. Once you know all of that stuff, but you know, I probably do it for maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Just get warmed up. So this seems all basic and you know maybe even silly but trust me you're going to be much better off when you go to hit your canvas or whatever you're working on if you got all of the kinks worked out with you, everything making sure your paint's right making sure your brush is working properly everything's spraying correctly and you warm up this finger just by spraying gibberish okay just by getting this finger warmed up so when you go to actually paint you'll have the control that you want Just stuff like that. Well, all right, there you have it. As simple as it may sound, you know, I was airbrushing for years. And I would test out my airbrush a little bit and learn this little warm-up exercise until I went to an airbrush getaway oh, about 10, maybe 12 years ago. And I learned it from some of the best airbrush artists in the world. And I realized this is what they were doing. I couldn't believe it. But it really does help. You know, you're not painting anything. All you're doing is making sure two things. You're getting your gun set up right and making sure everything is working right. And in turn, you're warming up that, that finger. Okay, believe it or not, that finger, that trigger finger, 
needs some warming up, just like the guy that's going to go play a guitar. So with that, I hope you liked this video. hope you got something from it. I hope this little tip lasts you throughout your airbrushing career and it gives you some help. And if it does, please consider subscribing. If you like this type of content, hit that bell so you get future notifications. Don't forget to check out those links down below. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.